not all password managers can be trusted. So to help you make an informed choice, I've put two popular password managers against each other in this thorough and facts-based NordPass versus LastPass comparison. All right, let's start with what's actually important when choosing the best password manager and see which one is more secure. I've used LastPass for a while and even done some reviews and comparison videos about it in the past, but can I say that LastPass is reliable in 2023? Unfortunately, I can't. Well, it wasn't reliable in 2022 either, and it continues to be with more breaches. So yeah, about the breaches. LastPass has been breached twice in 2022 and a couple of times in 2023 already. Hey, on the bright side, at least it's consistent. <clears throat> If you use LastPass, your sensitive information just gets stolen twice a year. And what did LastPass have to say about it? Well, to be honest, nothing that would convince me to ever use their service again. LastPass admitted that in the second breach, the attacker gained access to certain elements of the customer's data. Yeah, you'd think the first LastPass breach explained why strengthening their security should be their first priority, but apparently they didn't get the memo. It happened again and again. <laughs> and then some more. Seriously? All right, after listening to all of that, you might question if you can ever trust a password manager at all. But luckily, there are reliable password managers. So can you trust NordPass? Well, in contrast to LastPass, it has never been reported to be breached. Besides, NordPass keeps improving its security all the time. While previously, it supported only email confirmations and authentication codes, they have since expanded the list with security keys, choosing a separate hardware token, which isn't connected to the internet, which makes it virtually unhackable. So if you're extra cautious, you can increase your account's security by adding an additional layer of protection. Now, looking at LastPass options for multi-factor authentication, it actually has more than any other password manager. It includes one-time based passwords, apps, physical authenticators, smart cards, and more. In addition, you can combine them and use several at the same time. It greatly increases your account protection or at least it should, in theory. Another security difference is their encryption. LastPass security relies on the industry gold standard, while NordPass employs a slightly more modern type of encryption. It encrypts each data bit individually rather than by block. That provides faster encryption and lower resource consumption. However, both algorithms are safe and unlikely to be cracked in the near future. Encryption actually might be the only reason why LastPass users' passwords were not accessed during the breaches. However, while LastPass claims their users' data is no longer at risk, I just can't really trust them anymore. I mean, come on now, four breaches in two years? If you're still using LastPass, I'd suggest to jump out of that sinking ship if it wasn't already at the bottom of the ocean. But hey, you can still swim to the surface and get a trustworthy password manager instead. So if you want a safe provider at an affordable price, I recommend using our exclusive NordPass deal by clicking on the link in the description. All right. Now, I had a clear winner in the security category, but next in this NordPass versus LastPass review, let's compare their compatibility and ease of use. First of all, I didn't find any problems with either provider's applications or extensions. Both support the most popular web browsers and operating systems. So whichever OS or browser you're using, there shouldn't be problems using either of these password managers. Logging in with both of them was also smooth and quick. NordPass uses a several step login through separate browser windows, takes a tiny bit longer than with LastPass, but I am more than happy to spend a second or two longer to actually stay safe. Okay, once I logged in, I was met with neat interfaces, whether it was NordPass or LastPass. Setting up my vaults was really easy on both too. I don't think even beginners will have a problem with that. Besides, in both cases, the mobile versions cover all the same features as the desktop ones. However, I've noticed that NordPass has some design changes for their mobile apps. It feels like an improvement to me, even though it used to be quite great already. Now it feels modern and even easier to navigate than before. Overall, both offer compatibility and make sure their apps are easy to use. I can't really say that one or the other is better in this category. Okay, to continue this LastPass and NordPass review, let's see what features they can offer and how well they function. I want to begin with the feature that I use daily, a password generator. It allows me to create secure, custom, and strong passwords. 
Both providers are able to do that. However, LastPass Password Generator is rather simple. It allows me to create passwords with customizable lengths and special characters. In contrast to the simple LastPass tool, NordPass Password Generator also has a passphrase type of password, which comes in handy when I can't copy paste my password and have to type it in or memorize it. Now, besides generating passwords, I often need to share my passwords. Starting with NordPass, it allows me to quickly and securely share my sensitive information, such as passwords or credit card details. Details. Just before I send it over, it gets encrypted to be unreadable by anyone other than the intended recipient. Unfortunately, LastPass has an annoying restriction when it comes to sharing. I can only share credentials with other LastPass users. And it also recently asked me to verify my email address before letting me share my information. It's an extra step for security, but it's not like they're that secure in the first place. Okay, what if you already have a LastPass account and you don't want to switch? Well, then you're gonna need a little something called password importing. With NordPass, it just took a few clicks to import all my passwords from the browser to its secure vault. It also supports import from most other password managers, including LastPass. Now, if for some weird reason you decide to switch to LastPass, well, it has all the same options. LastPass can also import from Excel or CSV file format in case you use a password manager that isn't supported by LastPass. Another absolute must have feature for any best password manager is the autofill. Typing out all these details when buying stuff online or entering these complex passwords that password managers generate is never fun. I've tested autofill on both providers. I found NordPass's autofill to be a lifesaver. Every time I need to enter my credentials, I'm presented with two simple options. I can either choose one of my save details or save a new one in my vault. LastPass also has a well-functioning autofill that is able to save new login details. Now, with that said, overall, when it comes to features, NordPass wins. While both providers have all the core features, NordPass has more to offer when it comes to complete password and sensitive data protection. Okay, now that I've covered security, ease of use, and features, it's time to compare these providers in terms of value for your money. The very first thing I want to mention is that both providers have a free plan. The free versions of NordPass and LastPass look very similar. Neither restricts the total amount of passwords that you can store. The free version limits kick in starting from the devices count. With both, you'll only be able to use the password manager on one device. LastPass even has a stricter rule that locks my device type. I have to choose either mobile or desktop. So there is no cross-platform functionality. Well, but at least it allows one-to-one -one password sharing. On the other hand, NordPass doesn't include sharing options for free users at all. However, it does allow some cross-platform use when I sign out of my other devices. So both versions come with some drawbacks. Therefore, neither free plan is a good long-term solution. Now, LastPass Premium and Families plans are a huge improvement compared to its free version. It includes dark web monitoring, emergency access, priority tech support, autofill applications, and most importantly, it allows me to use cross-device, meaning that I can access the same vault on mobile and desktop. Looking at the NordPass Premium plan, it also has a huge improvement over the free one. With Premium, I can stay logged in on unlimited devices and share my passwords with other NordPass users. Premium also includes features like password health and data breach scanner. Both work to protect me from compromised passwords that I am using and have no clue about their leaks. In addition, it also warns me if it sees a pattern of credentials reuse. Okay, with all of that in mind, let's see how much they charge for their plans. And looking at that, forget what I've said about LastPass free plan being not a great long-term solution because their premium plan isn't either. LastPass breach is not a thing of the past seeing as it happened recently for the fourth time already. Yet they have the audacity to charge more than NordPass. So if you're still using LastPass or looking to change from a different provider or thinking of getting a password manager for the first time, I can definitely recommend NordPass. It really brings great value for your money, especially with our exclusive deal, which you can get by clicking on that link in the description. All right, it's time to wrap this up. You're probably not gonna be surprised that in my LastPass versus NordPass comparison, there's a clear winner. This video should have answered your question, is NordPass secure? And overall, it's just a much better password manager than LastPass. While both providers in this password manager review have similar features, NordPass provides security 
security and functionality that LastPass cannot. And that's even without mentioning this entire LastPass breach 2023 situation. All right, one last thing before I go, if you want to know how to keep your identity safe online, I've got a video tutorial for you on screen as well. Hey, thanks for watching and see you in another one of my videos.